At last, a use for stepchildren. They're basically your slaves. Hi everyone, welcome back to our little UK fish room and it's finally here, summertime in 2022. So today's video we're going to be adding fish to our tubs finally. We have already started with this one as we've added our long fin white cloud mountain minnows. They've been in there about two weeks now. Was hoping to find some fry but no, no fry. Uh, so what we're going to do is, once I've added some more fish to this pond, we'll try and get some underwater footage for you at the end of the video. So yeah, let's start adding fish. So let's start with this tub. We have seeded it a few months ago with Daphne out there. are thousands in here now. There's also a lot of mosquito larvae. There's bloodworm in the substrate and some blackworm. So the fish that go in here are gonna have an absolute feast. These are cool flowering. Um, so the fish that are going to go in this one are going to be the Santa Maria Enlas. we just got to catch them all now and we'll stick them out here. So let's do that. Okay. Okay, go, go. Okay. okay guys, so we've caught most of the Santa Marias out. There's still some to catch that we haven't been able to yet, but let's let them out into the new home for the summer. Oops. Just been acclimating them for about an hour in this bucket to make sure none of them get shocked and they're away. Into the new home. So that's that pond, that's what's going in that pond. Uh, let's tackle. this pond next so currently as I said before it just has the long cloud white melt the long fin white cloud mountain minnow isn't it uh, I think what we're going to put in here is our because we want it as a kind of community pond uh, non guppy non endler I think what we're going to do is catch out our Siamese dwarf rasbora get them out here and we'll see if we can get them breeding over the summer and uh, show you guys when we what we pull in at the end of the year. I might put in some red really shrimp as well, actually. Oh, no, maybe not, because they'll probably eat the eggs. Okay, so let's get them out. Slight change of plan. We're going to be putting in our Phoenix Rasbora and our Siamese Dwarf Rasbora, as I mentioned earlier. So this will be kind of like a nano community pond. Hopefully when we put in everything at the end of the summer, we're going to have a lot of fry to show you guys. There you go, new home. Enjoy. And next, five green tetras. These are temperate, so they should do pretty well out here. Over the summer. We'll get some underwater footage once these have all settled in. Possibly not today, it depends on how spooked they are. Right, it's there in. It's a nice marginal plant there for them to spawn on. Next to go in we have eight fireline danios. Now these should be pretty good out here because they're quite cold water tolerant. There's a lot of danios are. Let's give you a quick look. I'm not sure if you can see because of the bubble. It's a nice colour on the males. Let's hope we can get some breeding out here. But no no luck. We won't be. Guys, check out that space you got now. Go, 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 go. Right. That's them in. Let's figure out one. I'm not sure we're going to put in the fourth pond over there. Okay, guys, we have made a decision and we will be putting out our yellow tiger endless 
reason being, well, we can drain the fish tank and I can finish the background that came off there. And then we can put all of our flash plecos and our rainbow fish in this aquarium because it is bigger. It's 450 litres, where they're currently in a 300 litre. And the Celebes especially should look better with the black substrate as opposed to the white substrate they're currently on. Just look how many fish we've got to catch with all these rocks and plants. This is going to be a total nightmare. Check out them red reef really shrimp bits. So these are going to go out in our Daphnia culture because obviously they're not going to eat our Daphnia. And we're going to put them out, which we'll show you in a bit. This is going to take a long time. Okay, we'll show you when we've got them all ready. Before we put the tiger endless in, check out all this Daphne. That is an absolute ton. Let's try some underwater footage. We've got about 50% of the tiger endless. We're going to have to get the rest tomorrow, it's taking so long, but these are going in now. So we've left it a few days to let them all settle in before we try and get a little bit of underwater footage for you. Oh, should we go with the tiger in laws? Let's try the community pond first because I haven't seen them very much. I believe they're all hiding underneath the marginal plants, so maybe if I put the phone down there, let's give this a go. I don't know how this is going to work out, it might not. Okay, see so you on the upside. So that brings us to the end of our first summer tubbing video guys. So now we have our community nano fish pond set up, our Santa Maria endlers, our tiger endlers. This one we're not sure what we're going to do with yet. We're thinking possibly rice fish, although I may put out the guppy cross that we're working on, the one that we really like. And this one was earmarked for our stair kennelers, but unfortunately I have noticed there is a fry in here. I'm not sure how it's got there, but I don't want to put the stairs in here and pollute their line until I can find the little guy. So, yeah, that's it guys. Next time we'll show you some underwater footage on the tigers and the Santa Maria's. It's just I've noticed the ponds have gone quite green hopefully that will clear up soon but from the top you can see they're doing well we've only put about 50% of our tigers out here because we just can't catch them all but yeah okay thanks for watching guys as always and do take care of yourselves